Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Polish Mathematical Olympiad, first round 2010, problem number 1. We wish to find all non-negative rational numbers a and b satisfying the following equation. Square root of a plus square root of b equals square root of 4 plus square root of 7. Here are my hints for this problem. First, show that, well, if a is... show that a must be greater than 0 and b must be greater than 0, strictly greater. Not just non negative, but positive. Next, 8 plus 2 times square root of 7. Pretty easy to see that it can be written as square root of 7 squared plus 2 square root of 7 plus 1. Now, suppose that a and b satisfy our equation and square both sides to show, squared 2 times to be exact, to show that b must be equal q squared over a, where q is again a positive integer a positive rational number, sorry. And then find Q and then find A and B and do their verification in the end because uh, squaring both sides is not always equivalent to the first uh, equation. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. All right, so first let's note that if, for example, if A equals zero, then it should be the case that b equals 4 plus square root of 7, uh, but this number is clearly ir irrational. Uh, if b is equal, if b is 0, then a similar thing happens. So now let's suppose, suppose that a and b are strictly greater than 0. Let's take our equation. And actually, let's multiply on both sides by square root of 2, and we'll have square root of 2a plus square root of 2 times b equals square root of 8 plus 2 square root of 7. And what about that? Well, notice that this can be written in the following manner. It's square root of 7 squared plus 2 square root of 7 plus 1. And this is square root of 1 plus square root of 7 squared. So, so it's 1 plus square root of 7. All right. And now uh, let's uh, take our equation once again and let's square both sides. So we have 2a plus 2b plus 2. Uh, 4ab equals 1 plus 7 plus 2 square root of 7. Uh, so we have, we can divide by 2 and we will have a plus b, a plus b plus 2 square root of ab equals 4 plus square root of 7. And now let's do the following. Let's put a plus b minus 4 on the left hand side. Let's put square root of 7 minus square root on of a b of the uh, right hand side and now let's take square once again and we'll have a plus b minus 4 squared equals square root of 7 squared is 7 7 plus 4 a b minus 4 square root of 7 a b and now let's take a look this right here is rational. This part right here is also rational. Minus 4 is also rational. So the only possibility for that to be the case is that square root of 7ab must be also rational. Positive rational number. Positive because a and b are positive. Which means that b must be written as Q squared over 7a for some positive rational number q. All right, all right. So now we know something. And now let's take this new knowledge and let's go back to what line? To the line which was before taking square, to this line right here. 
I will leave left hand side as it is, but on the right hand side I can put 7 minus 2. And what is AB? AB is Q squared over 7, also known as, we can write square root of 7 minus 2Q square root of 7 over 7. And this can be written as square root of 7, 1 minus 2q over 7. And now let's take a look once again. This right here is rational. Uh, this is not rational. So the only possibility for this to be the case is that this right here, this expression right here must be what? Must be 0. So 1 minus 2q over 7 equals 0, which means that q has the concrete value of 7 over 2. 7 over 2, which means, let's go back to this equation right here, b equals 7 squared, so it's 49 over 4 times 7a, which means that 4ab equals 7. It's one equation. And what's the second equation? Well, let's go back to this line, this line right here. Notice that the right-hand side is 0, so a plus b minus 4 is also 0. And a plus b minus 4 equals 0. We have system, the system of two equations with two variables. And from the second equation, let's find b. From the second equation, we see that b equals 4 minus a. And let's put it to our first equation. So we have 4a, 4 minus a equals 7. So we have 16a minus 4a squared equals 7. 4a squared minus 16a, and I will do a trick, I will add 16 on both sides, so I'll have equals 9. Alright, and now here we have what? 2a minus 4 squared equals 9, which means that 2a equals 4 plus or minus 3, so a equals 2 plus or minus 3 over 2. And what about b? And what about b? Notice that b equals 4 minus a. So b equals 2 minus plus 3 over 2. So either a equals uh, 1 half and b equals 7 over 2 or a equals 7 over 2 and b equals 1 half. But uh, remember that our we have been taking square roots on both sides or squares on both sides. This is not equivalent transformation, so we'd better make a verification in the end. Verification. Verification should be pretty straightforward. Let's go back to what line? To what line? To this line. Square root of 2a plus square root of 2b should be equal 1 plus square root of 7. Let's verify it. So this right here, well, Notice that this is symmetric with respect to a and, a, a and B. So we have 2 times 1 half plus 2 times square root of 7 over 2. Well, it's 1 plus square root of 7, as it should. So in it, indeed, our equation is verified, and it has exactly two pairs of rational solutions. And that is it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.